Hi, I'm Erin and this is our craft table. And today I had this idea for a craft because I went to Starbucks and if you saw my haul from earlier, um, I had this cute little Starbucks ornament that I got and it made me think of um, just other Starbucks ornaments that I could do or decorations that I could do for Christmas because I also saw these cute little bottle cap ornaments um, on Pinterest but I'm not a beer drinker so I don't have any of that around but I was like wait a minute I have bottle caps from little Starbucks drinks because you know these little these little drinks right here the small little frappuccinos the mocha and the caramel and the vanilla we get these all the time and we keep the um, the little bottles because they're just really nice to drink out of. I take the label off and you know wash them out and everything and you know you can reuse these. But I never really had anything to use um, or I never had anything to do with the bottle caps. So I thought wait okay what if I make a bottle cap wreath? Why not? So I'm just kind of spontaneously crafting here. I've never done this before. I want to see if it works. Hopefully it will. And if it does, maybe I'll do some other bottle cap stuff. Probably not with Starbucks tops, but maybe, you know, smaller ones that I can actually fit on the tree. The Starbucks one definitely is going to be too big for a tree. I think I might put it over in my coffee and tea bar area um, in my kitchen. I think that's about it. So the supplies I've gathered, which I hope I have everything I need. Cardboard, because I have a lot of cardboard I can recycle from our move. Painter's tape, because I can't find the scotch tape because, I don't know, one kid or another took the tape that we had and put it somewhere and didn't put it back where it belongs. So that's okay though. Painter's tape will be fine. Scissors. Uh, lots of different ribbon because I'm not really sure what ribbon I'm going to use. And then I got six of these bottle caps. So two for the mocha, two for the vanilla, and two for the caramel, which is my favorite. I'm going to stick tape in there so I can arrange it on the cardboard. So I'm just kind of sticking the tape on there so I can put it on the cardboard the way I want it because I need to cut around the cardboard um, to make the shape that I need, I think. So I don't know. We'll see. So I'm kind of, I put one in the middle here, and it fell off, but I put one in the middle to space these evenly. So I think that works. Yeah, that looks about right. So it looks spaced evenly. And now that there's stuff on here, I'm going to trace around it because I want to cut around it I think with maybe a little bit of a like a little bit of a border on the outside because I need something for the hot glue to actually stick onto so let's see because it needs a surface to be able to adhere let's see what happens maybe before cutting I should trace that's what I said I was going to do but I just started cutting let <laughs> me trace first. So if you can see right there, there's sort of a, a petal shape outline that's there. So I'm going to cut maybe giving about a, a quarter of an inch of an allowance around it so that I have something for the hot glue to adhere to. So let's see. Okay, I'm gonna 
keep this because I can keep it with my other cardboard and you know I might be able to use other pieces so you know it's funny because you can keep stuff to recycle but you really do have to keep it organized otherwise you just have crap all over your house that you intend to use someday if you don't use it then it's just piled up in your house and that's not good so if you know you're gonna put this away somewhere and then possibly use it again at some point definitely keep it file it away with your other cardboard stuff if not better to just throw it away instead of letting junk pile up in your house I'm putting it with my cardboard pile and then I'm gonna put that over where I keep my cardboard supplies so anyway I've cut around here just to make it easier and then now I'm going to cut around the petals I like calling them petals it seems like it's a flower that way let's just call them petals so I'm cutting around them leaving about a quarter of an inch allowance. Like this little tiny piece, I'm not gonna keep that. I'm gonna put that in the trash. Let's just gonna make a mess. I think that's good enough. So I made the outline of the wreath and um, left sort of about a quarter of an inch allowance around all of it. And you know what I should have done that I did not do? I did not. See, this is what happens when you craft spontaneously or just, you know, when you are trying something out for the first time, you make mistakes and you figure out easier ways to do it. It would have been easier if I had traced the inside at the same time as I traced the outside. Lesson learned. So let's just kind of position these back. I already took the tape off, so let's see if I can do this without the tape. Okay, so I was thinking about this in the car on my way home about how this would work. So I was thinking if I cut through one of the petals here to cut out the middle part, then I put a little piece of cardboard in the middle to stabilize it again and then cover that up with a bottle cap that would work. If I cut between two bottle caps, I'm concerned that it would be flimsy. So I think that's going to work. All we can do is experiment and find out. So here we go. You know what? I think maybe I could even cut this in half and then do it on both sides. Put a stabilizer on this side and put a stabilizer on this side and then it would make it easier to cut the middle. Let's try that. <gasps> what have I done? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so I cut these pieces out, so it's going to make 
the body of the wreath and I kept two chunks of it so that I could make the stabilizers and when I was cutting I realized you know it doesn't matter if the inside is perfect because the um, the bottle cap doesn't really have to touch the inside part because it's going to adhere to this part so you know basically at least three quarters of the bottle cap is going to be sitting on the cardboard so it doesn't really matter if the middle part um, has cardboard touching it. I think it'll be fine. We'll see. Experiments. So let's see. Let's see if this works. Just kind of cleaning these up to make sure that they don't show through. Okay. So yeah, it looks pretty wonky. But I think it's gonna work. Yeah, that's gonna work. Okay. True just joined us. If you're wondering why I <laughs> smiled over there, and you know, hello. True is behind the camera, but she's not going to. Um, she's not gonna do this crap with me right now. But if it works out, I'm definitely gonna, you know, show her how to make this. So I'm what making a wreath. Out of Starbucks because I am thankful for Starbucks. Aren't we all thankful for Starbucks? I know not everybody is basic like me and must have the pumpkin spice latte the day it's released, but I thought I, for I do. some reason the first thing that I thought of was Christmas. I was like, you're not supposed to be thankful on Christmas. I know, oh, and a wreath is traditionally for Christmas, <laughs> and I'm just realizing now that I'm doing a wreath of. Starbucks tops, and yesterday we did a wreath of um, the turkey. So I think that's okay though. I, I think you like a normal wreath. <laughs> I know. Well, Christmas okay. needs to hurry up and come. Okay, so I'm gonna put some hot glue on this and make the stabilizer. And then line these up together and line up the markings that I made when I traced bottle caps. Okay, so see? So I put the pieces of cardboard to stabilize it, and now it's one unit again. So... How'd you make that? You're gonna have to watch the video. <laughs> But yeah, since Drew wants me to recap, I took the I took the bottle caps, put them on the cardboard, and then I traced around them and made the base for the wreath. That's cool. And I'm gonna put that down. So then I have to decide. And Drew, you can help me with this if you want to. I have to decide what ribbon to use. This is sunflowers. Not, not I don't think that are. really looks like. I want it to look like fall. This is something that I want to be able to put up on um, my coffee and tea bar starting in the fall next year. And you know, I'm going to put it up now, obviously. But you know, I really only have a week to put it up since Christmas decorations go up the day after Thanksgiving. I thought you were going to say Christmas is a week from now. I'm like, you got your dates all wrong. <laughs> when I when I took this one out, this ribbon, I thought, uh, it's you know, it's fall like, but it's it's green polka dots on white. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, eh, I don't know, it might go well with the with the green on the Starbucks. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is a contender. I don't want to do that. I'm gonna stick that out of the way. And <laughs> we have pumpkins. Pumpkins. I can go either way with pumpkins, because sometimes pumpkins look very much like Halloween, and I think these pumpkins do look very much like Halloween, instead mm -hmm. of like fall in general. No, they kind of look springish, because they're so like bright. Like springish, see, and I don't know if that really... Mm-mm. Mm -mm. And that, actually, that kind of clashes. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. So that is out. 
my harvest ribbon. I've used this and I need to put a rubber band on it because I lost this part, but I tied it up. <laughs> so. How did you lose that part? I don't know, it just came off and now I guess I probably accidentally threw it away. But That's I like funny. this, but <laughs> no, that also clashes with Ooh, the caramel. Yeah. That's not good. That's not a contender any longer. <laughs> now we have... You only have like that. You only have like three left. I know. I have the Rick Rack. <laughs> That doesn't look good. I don't think that because that's orange and uh -huh. we've already learned our lesson with orange <laughs> and black. <laughs> I mean, your wreath is gonna be black. Hmm? I mean, you're gonna have a black wreath. Black wreath. <laughs> I want. I mean, black has its place. Black, black is Halloween. Mm -hmm. Black is Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. But. See, and you see her reaction. Kwanzaa, what's that? I know we're gonna Kwanzaa start. Is. <laughs> well, we've never so celebrated good. Kwanzaa, so we're so gonna do that this year. But right now, why? We're not talking about Thanksgiving, or we are talking about Thanksgiving. <laughs> we're not talking about Halloween. Or we're Kwanzaa. not talking about Kwanzaa. Or so, Christmas. let's do this. So that one doesn't look like them. Wait, you didn't put it next to the other ones. I did. I like it. It doesn't look good with the brown. Sure it does. Okay, so this is what I think I'm gonna do. Because I want to cover up the quarter of an inch allowance that I did around the shape of the bottle caps. So I think what I'm gonna do is take the, uh, I'm probably gonna start here, take the ribbon and then just attach it like this and kind of, you know, I can't really, I don't know what that is, I can't describe it, I guess it's like ruffles? I'm gonna ruffle it. There you go. I'm gonna do ruffles with the ribbon. And I put the camera up close to show you what I'm doing, but I don't really know what I'm doing and I'm just gonna go for it and hopefully, like I said, please God, let Koi know how to fast forward through all this boring stuff because you're not going to want to see this because I'm going to be looking down and, you know, making ruffles, which I've never done before, so let's go. So, during that time where hopefully Koi fast forwarded and cut out some stuff because that would have been very boring, but I spent maybe the last five minutes or so taking the ribbon, just kind of ruffling it around with the with the um with the hot glue and I think it turned out really well I think this is looking really cute it's coming together so it's not perfect it doesn't have to be it's definitely very charming but it doesn't look like crap either I think it looks really good so far and these stabilizer things down here th those are definitely working this is a solid piece of material so now now that I'm thinking about it I really think I probably shouldn't have taken the tape off because I think it would have been better if I had kept it on there just for positioning purposes. But, I don't know. Let's just try to see how it goes. I think to make sure that no cardboard shows through. I'm just gonna do not even, not a full ruffle, but I think I'm just gonna put some more ribbon down here just to make sure that the cardboard doesn't show because the cardboard is showing a little bit through um, some of these. So I just wanna make sure that it's, that's all covered up. Okay, done. I, I like it. I like this. That looks better. Um, you're not going to see this part underneath the bottle caps, the, the middle layer, but I like that it's there because it just gives it a little bit more depth. 
And I don't know if you know this, but the first time around I went this way, and the second time around I went this way, just to give it some variation. So I think that looks good. Uh, so let's try to put on the bottle caps again. I'm really excited about this. I think it's turning out really well. I love when I think of a project to do just kind of out of the blue and I try it and it works out well. You know, you know how sometimes you do that and you just get so proud of yourself like that is awesome. You know, sometimes you try to think of a project on your own to do and try it and it doesn't work. But then you still have that feeling of accomplishment because you tried it, right? So I'm really happy about this. So I'm going to load this up with some hot glue. And really, I'm just I'm putting it along the rim so it'll kind of drip down. But really, so I'm trying to get better at eyeballing where the glue needs to go. I think putting it inside the cap isn't actually doing anything. Stop doing that, it's just a waste of glue, it seems. We went through quite a few glue sticks. If you remember from the haul yesterday, True said, I don't think we need that many glue sticks. You always need a lot of glue sticks. It's just like they come out, the, the glue comes out so fast, and you know, it's just, you need a lot of it. First, I was thinking I should put um, magnets on it so I could just stick it on my fridge because my fridge is right next to the coffee area, or what will be the coffee area when I get a coffee maker. But anyway, let me see if I can I need to clean it up just a little bit. So before I show you the final product, I think that I learned a few lessons with this. So the next time I make this, I'll do a few things a little bit differently. Um, I think that I will make the inside ring here smaller. <laughs> I'm messing it up. See, like I said, this is spontaneous crafting. This is real. This is what happens when you really craft. Everybody knows this. This isn't something that only happens to me, I know. Do something, you're like, oh, it's so awesome, and then it falls apart because you didn't glue it properly. <laughs> so, not a big deal. I need to go in there probably with like a little X-Acto knife or something and clean it up a little bit because obviously using the scissors is knocking the bottle caps off whenever I put them on, which is not cool. So, this is the finished product. I think it looks pretty awesome. I like it. And I can just, you know, stick it there on my refrigerator, right next to the little coffee area. It'll just be a nice little fall decoration. And I think it looks kind of cool. I'm happy with it. I really like it. I hope you guys like it too. If you like it, if you like seeing me do these spontaneous crafts where I didn't really 
plan it out or do uh, you know um, a template for anything or do a prototype or anything like that and I'm just kind of crafting on the fly let me know because I think this is pretty fun to you know do what it's really like to craft you know everything doesn't work out well the first time you have to adjust and make changes and I think that's kind of important to know because sometimes you know you look at some crafting things on TV or on YouTube and it can be a little bit intimidating because everything looks so perfect and great the first time you know it's not that way if you've ever crafted you know it's not that way nothing turns out right the first time and even now I'm looking at it that one is crooked that little that girl right there she's crooked and we had to fix her not a big deal though because I'm really happy with the project in general so I will take a picture of this um, after I clean up the edges and when I put it up on my refrigerator so you can really truly see the finished product but I think it's pretty cool so like I said let me know if you want to continue to see me do these spontaneous crafts um, and if you like this video, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, thanks so much. Bye.